Well, Breaker 1-9, this here's a rubber duck. You got a copy on me, Big Ben? Come on. Oh, uh, yeah, 10-4, Big Ben, for sure, for sure. By golly, it's clean, clear to Flagtown. Come on. Yeah, it's a big 10 4 there, Big Ben. Yeah, we definitely got the front door, good buddy. First thing to the live looks like you've got us a convoy. I'm going to show you how to do a setup of these trailers. Step one is we set up our divider gate. This gate locks in here. And as you'll see the way it's set up, this is called the doghouse up here. And there's two gates here that'll come down and a divider that supports it, it's right up here. Okay, and everything's got pins in it. Now, the bottom of the trailer, typically you can get uh, 15, 16 head down there, full-size cow. And then this part is the top. And up the walk we go. We got full mechanism. We'll swing that over. And up on the second floor, you have your divider, divider door that can divide these floors. Access to your doghouse up in here. You can see there's wood chips for calves. When we haul calves, we have to put wood chips down. And this right here is a little divider here. Little setup to get the cows down into the nose of the trailer. This part here tilts forward and it drops that there walk, that there walk down into the nose. So the cows walk down into the nose. And you can typically put five to six head in head here. So this is the inside of the cattle trailer. This is a ladder that goes up to the second deck when you're hauling calves. Calves, you can drop this deck down to that rail and have enough to haul up to 150 calves in this trailer. Same scenario in here. You can drop those two gates down. Makes this whole floor big enough. And this drops down to the floor and loading procedures are exactly this. You load the nose, you close it up. That loads them in the nose, that's closed up. They're loaded in the top deck. And then that's closed up with this, over to there. Your rack goes back up and then your bottom is opened up. Bottom right down there and you walk in the count that you have for the bottom, closing off all of these dividers. And then when you do that, you close the bottom off and you load the tail. That's the back of the truck. All right, I hope that helps. If anybody has any curiosity, he's on loading the cattle truck. But as you can see right now, we got a bunch of everybody here today. Well, mercy sakes, good buddy. We're going to back on out here, so keep the bugs off your glass and the